Welcome to Delirious Demo episode 5. Today I'm not going to show you another demo. Today I'm going to uh, talk about uh, the show itself and uh, a bit what the criteria, criteria are on which I uh, judge the games and how I come about the games. So, the demos that I choose at the moment are all the demos that I can get on Steam. If I might, if I find something that might interest me, I might just download it somewhere else. But at the moment, I'm just using Steam because it's an easy platform which has a lot of games which release on the PC, and most of the top games do have demos. Now, uh, I'm playing the latest demo uh, that they have and just download it and try it out. And uh, seeing as they don't release every day, I might do every demo that they do and maybe some more, but I don't know. I'll have to uh, uh, look at it for a few months to be really sure about that. Of course, I can change this any time that I want, but as I said, it's just really easy to just use their, uh, st their demos and go, about, go around about it that way. Now, most of the demos that I play are games that I haven't played before. Uh, they are games that I don't own, otherwise I probably would do a this is of it, maybe. Um, and if I do manage to own them, I'll try to say that in the beginning of the episode, so you do know I know how the full game uh, works, only I'm still showing you the demo. Now, the first thing that I do in the demo is trying to see if it's obvious what you can do in the demo and more especially what you can't do. Such as, uh, I just tried a valley without wind and in the main menu they say you can uh, create spells no higher than tier 2 and you can't go off the first continent. Which is really clear about what you can do and what you can't do. In the demo so I know this is the demo and if I want to do that I need to get the full game now in strange games like a valley without wind it's really hard to determine without them saying so but I also did witch racer unbounded and dirt showdown which are both racing games and you can see you can you can do the main uh, game one track, maybe two. Uh, you can do a quick game with the same two tracks. Uh, sometimes you can do another mode on those two tracks, and that's it. So things like w things like racing games usually don't say what it is, but you notice it right away. Now the first one that I did was Dead Hungry Dinner, and I still don't know what the end of the demo is seeing as I was playing it almost an hour and I still hadn't found it and I wasn't planning on waiting around to uh, to the end of it any longer so if I can find it I will give you the end of the demo so you know this can I this I can expect I'll have a playthrough and I'll tell a bit about the game uh, I'll also tell you if I think the demo has enough content. Uh, like I said in uh, Dirt Showdown, which is a racing game, uh, you have one track. And it's a, a small 8-ish kind of track. So, yeah, the race takes long enough because you need to do, I believe, 5 or 6 rounds on it. And you have to consider things like... Uh, you don't want to get wrecked, you have health. But then again, uh, I would like to see one track which is a bit larger. So we have one really small track and give us one track which is a bit larger so I can see a bit more. Um, the one track that it gave you was also really tight. You couldn't flow. When you didn't took the corner right, you just stopped against the borders. There was no grass or anything in which you 
could uh, shoot into. Uh, and I would like to see how that handles a bit. So when I think a demo is a bit incomplete, I'll tell you. I'll also tell you everything. It's way too much, which is always a good thing if you want to try something for free, of course. Uh, I'll also tell you what, like I said, everything it's missing something, but it depends on the kind of game that it is, because in racing games it's really easy. You want to see a smaller track, and you want to see a bigger track, and, it, and if it has multiple modes, I want to see at least two of them. Uh, if it has ten, it wouldn't be all too bad to show four or something. So I want to see a bit how the, the real game is uh, in the demo. Now, next to that, uh, I'm also uh, saying what I think about the game according to the demo. So, uh, Dirt Showdown, still, uh, I have only played four demos, so it's all the same. Uh, I really like that one, to be honest. Uh, uh, I'm not a huge racing game fan. Uh, I, mean, I mean, the most racing games I play are Trackmania. And that's just because I can do it five minutes and then put it away. Uh, I do it a bit casual. It's not like I want to do a lot of it. So a bit Trackmania, uh, Blur. Uh, I might just want to add Dirt Showdown to it. Um, but I don't, I, I don't... I try not to let it color my judgment about it, those kind of games. So... Even though I don't like really like racing games a lot, other than a bit of a casual thing, I do try to save from. I think this is good. This is bad. Uh, graphics will be discussed a bit. I try to play it as high as possible, but I don't have a supercomputer, so it could very well be. Uh, I noticed by Witch Racer Unbound, Unbounded that it wasn't really that smooth. And I really couldn't change a lot of the options that were necessary to make it run smoother. So, uh, I said in the, in the episode why it was so, but I can't remember right now. I believe you had to leave the game and change it or something like that. But, anyway. Uh, I'll also, I'll usually start in the main menu. I'll show you which you can see in there. And then I'll tell you which of the things you see you really can do. Uh, I'll talk a bit about the options that you can see. Uh, I'll talk a bit about uh, eventual multiplayer or single player things you can see. Extras that they let you see in the game like achievements. You usually can see them in demos. You even can get them in demos. Uh, at least the things that you have. And yeah, if if you if you want me to play a demo, I will gladly do it. Just send me the link, and uh, please tell a bit about it so I know what to expect. Uh, you can send the link to YouTube at healthwife.com. Uh, you can also leave a comment on the blog if you're watching the video on uh, on YouTube. The Link to the blog post is usually in the description. If not, you go, can go to www.healthwife.com, which will just take you to the main page. And yeah, you can leave a comment on there. Um, when I have enough time, I will try to branch out to some other places to get demos, but uh, I'm not going to promise you anything because I don't know. Which, which I'm able to do. Uh, I'm also... I want to try to keep it a bit short. Uh, I had an episode... Uh, a Valley Without Wind. It took me about 50 minutes. Which isn't bad considering a demo. Uh, seeing as the most you play through them are... Half an hour, 45 minutes. And that's about the longest that I want to try to uh, have the episodes. But then again, I'm really bad at keeping schedules. So they might take a bit longer. But I'm not really planning to do that. So y you can watch them as critics to the game. You can uh, 
hear my experiences as I play through it. You can uh, see the playthrough of me. And um, yeah, that, that, that's about it. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions or you have any demos that you want to show me, uh, I'll try to keep it a bit recent, just so that you can try to uh, see if you even want to download the demo or if you think the game is something for you, you have something ex extra to look at before you buy it. Uh, like I said, if I have the full game, I will uh, give, I will tell you what I think about the game. In the full version and if I get a bit of a different experience in the demo I will tell you so so that is it for today and I will see you in episode 6 which will probably be serious Sam um, HD the second encounter demo <laughs>